So on the uh, debate between Jesus' historicity and Jesus as a mythical figure only, I have a couple more things that I want to say. But if you haven't already watched the other video I just did before this one, then make sure you check that one out as well. But there are other TikTokers here on this platform who are agnostic atheists, who are still doing their best to defend the historicity of Jesus, saying that it's likely that he really did exist and he really was alive, and that the mythicist position that he never actually existed in the form that we understand him, uh, that's, that's a conspiracy theory. Additionally, uh, this person said that um, they're accused often of giving Christians ammunition, so to speak, for their belief and their faith in Christianity, and that as an agnostic atheist, supporting the historicity of Jesus puts them one step closer to being a Christian themselves. And this person completely disagreed with that and says that's not true whatsoever. And to that, I just want to say that it might not be true that uh, an agnostic atheist believing that Jesus actually historically existed, that might not put that agnostic atheist any closer to being a real Christian themselves. However, I would say that there are many, many, many real Christians who point to agnostic atheists who believe in the historicity of Jesus as evidence for their own claim to faith. Now, in my debates about Jesus' historicity and mythicism, etc., I've had so many Christians point to Bart Ehrman and other agnostic atheist scholars who believe that Jesus probably really did exist and really did walk around. And Christians point to that type of research all the time to justify their faith in the Son of God. Now, in my online conversations and my TikTok and YouTube experience and all the emails and stuff I've dealt with, I've never had a Christian source Dr. Richard Carrier, one of the premier Jesus mythicist scholars. I've never had any of them source him as their, uh, you know, one of their fundamental principles for why they still have faith. But they do source Bart Ehrman and other agnostic atheists who think Jesus lived. Additionally, the uh, idea that you have to be some sort of conspiracy theorist to think that Jesus never existed at all and take on this mythicist position is just wild and out of control. Because are you really saying that you don't think that the Christian church and the Roman government ever used religion to, as propaganda to force their own objectives and principles on their people? Do you think that really hasn't happened? You do realize that conspiracies do actually exist, right? Especially in the church. There are plenty of examples of non-historical fictional characters, characters being mythologized through time. That's not a conspiracy theory, it's just another iteration of the same. 